take a look at these stocks. This is an Excel spreadsheet I put together uh, as a result of looking at Amazon and trying to figure out if I wanted to buy more of it, and I do. Uh, what I'm showing you here is their uh, earnings per share and their revenue projections, 24, 25, and 26. And as you can see, Amazon is pretty much an 11, 11. But look at their Look at their uh, earnings per share growth, 56, and that's because they had a bad year in 2023, but 26 and 29. And then I would ask you to go across and look at these and set, tell me, which, which of the stocks do you want to own? Uh, I think you need to probably, if you're buying now, you have to factor in that this number is already uh, figured into NVIDIA's uh, current price, the 95% growth that they're projecting for 2024, but then 26 in 25 and 19 in 26 shows some, some growth pattern, but it just keeps up with um, Amazon at 26 and 29, and I don't think that's something that we would, would have normally thought. A little bit of disappointment then in Apple. Um, Google basically a good 29% growth in earnings per share in 24, then falling to 13 and 15. Uh, some not not as strong in numbers as Nvidia certainly from from Microsoft and then Meta having a 34 percent this year 14 and 13. But then what I wanted to do was show you how does that compare to some other companies? I know everybody kind of likes Palantir uh, and they had a 32 percent increase in earnings for 24 and then they're projecting uh, about 20 and 18 and 26. Then what I wanted to show you is how does that compare, how do these stocks compare to run-of-the-mill stocks, Ford? Uh, and I've shown the, this before relative for Ford and Procter and & Gamble. They aren't keeping up with inflation. And if a company isn't keeping up with inflation, they're dying. That's just the plain and simple amount of it. And you might say, well, where are you going to get your paper towel and your to toilet paper for if P&G is dying? I don't know. I don't know where you'll get it. But the fact is, if they can't keep up with inflation, they can't pay their employees. They can't pay their electric bill. They they just can't keep the, the, th the whole thing going. And then their earnings are okay, but Ford, Ford is a dead, a, a dead man walking. Then what I wanted to show you is what is their history? This is their five-year history on, on Apple. They give you, over the last five years, they've given you an average of 26%, excuse me, that's Amazon, 36 and 36 for 10 and 20. Apple tells us that they'll probably come back uh, they'll probably establish some sort of position in artificial intelligence and will come back strong. And, and Google uh, has, has a, again, a good history, particularly in the five-year range. Uh, all three of these are giving you an average of 25, when the S&P is probably giving you around 11. Microsoft, not as strong, but I suspect um, will be a, a stronger player in the future. Meta, um, very consistent. And then, of course, NVIDIA uh, blows the doors off uh, this past five years, eight years, and 10 years. Uh, got a, a tremendous moat built around it, and I think will give you uh, consistent returns. Palantir doesn't have, but uh, about a five-year history. And then this kind of surprised me, actually, that Ford uh, gave us a 22% return. But they had one year where they had a, a, a very strong um, I think it was 120% increase in price in one year, and it was because they had such a dismal year the year before. But um, not something that I'd want to hang my hat on. I'd rather have it in an S&P fund as the same with, um, with uh, Procter & Gamble. So that gives you some sort of an idea. I, I had an instance uh, just this week where I had to buy a new phone, and I found that the, I could buy the phone at the same price on either or Amazon or um, uh, my Spectrum. I went to Spectrum because I knew I was going to have some difficulty tra transferring the data, and after three hours, that got done. So I was happy that I didn't buy the uh, phone from um, Amazon at the same price, but then I went to look for a case, you know, to protect it, and they wanted $49. I bought the same case from Amazon for $13, and that's where Amazon's business is strong. They aren't going to give you... They aren't 
aren't going to they aren't going to upload your data and they aren't going to sit for two hours to help you to do it. But if all you got to do is buy a case and snap it on, you want to go to Amazon. It, it, it they they beat everybody's prices. I didn't check Walmart, but that's it. Um, so I I guess the, the the emphasis of this video is look at a stock and say why are they in business? And I think the answer is going to be to generate earnings for their their shareholders. So look at a company and say, how how good are they at that? Or in the case of Ford and Procter & Gamble, are they good at generating good salaries for their executives and, and prolonging uh, their their life and, and, and providing? Yeah, can, can we live without Ford? Probably not. We need a car maker. But it should tell you something when our government says, um, we, we can't compete. So we're going to put a 100% tariff on any cars that come into the United States. Is that a good thing? Well, who, who pays that tariff? If, if, a, if, a, if a Chinese car shows up on the shores and they're willing to put it, sell it to you for $20,000, but the government puts another $20,000 price on it, who gets that other $20,000? And who pays that other $20,000? Well, it's you and I. Ford can't compete. Well, whose problem is that? Well, it's becoming our problem. We're having to subsidize Ford and General Motors to keep them in business. Is that a good thing? I think they need to restructure their business. That's how you solve the problem. You don't throw it on the consumer and say, we can't compete, so you got to pay some more money. No, that, that's, that's not good government. It, it's not. It, it's not. We're right now subsidizing our pharmaceutical companies. Hell, you can buy a drug in, in Canada for half the price you pay for it in the United States. We're subsidizing these companies. Our government's screwing us. Okay? It's that simple. But I know I can make money on Amazon, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Meta, and NVIDIA.